A few weeks ago I built a big bore do-it-yourself air rifle that I called the Slam Yang. After the Sam Yang big bore air rifle that's fairly well known. Today I'm showing version 2 of my Slam Yang air rifle. The first version I made just used a QEV. This new one, I've made a three-quarter inch piston valve inside a uh, cast iron pipe tee that you can see uh, at the top. The uh, valve that I made, my piston valve, is piloted by an eBay QEV which is in turn piloted by an eBay blue slide valve. So this is the slightly altered workings of my new Slam Yang air rifle. It also has a slightly larger steel air chamber that we can see here, about 2 inches diameter by 14 inches long. Same as before, this new big bore air rifle can work either off shop air at 8 bars, 120 psi, or if I want more power, I can take it up to uh, 450 psi. This one will work on if I want, which is around 31, 32 bars of pressure, I believe. On this one I've gone with the mechanical trigger which you can see uh, is hooked up with a couple of springs to always pull it forward so that uh, it fills with air. And then when you pull the trigger back of course it uh, moves the slide valve back which triggers the QEV triggering the piston valve. Now going with the piston valve, I get a lot more power than I was just with the little QEV because of course this is caliber 565 with a 44 inch breech loading rifled barrel. And here is a look at some of the ammunition lead slugs in this case. The three on the left are 500 grain cast lead slugs. The three on the right are 350 grain cast lead slugs as ammunition. I'm now hooked up to shop air and I'm just going to fire a couple of air blasts Those should have been visible in the video, a puff of uh, fog-like white smoke coming from the barrel each time. Slam Yang is hooked up to 120 PSI shop air. I've loaded a 350 grain lead slug and I'll try firing over the chronograph. That was a 350 grain lead slug and using just uh, 120 psi I got 263.2 feet per second. What would happen if I was to fire a 350 grain slug using high pressure air at 450 psi? Let's try it. I've now loaded a 350 grain lead slug and I'm hooked up to 450 psi high pressure air. And as we can see the change to high pressure air let us shoot the 350 grain slug 
at 516.1 feet per second. Still hooked up to 450 PSI, I've now loaded a 500 grain lead slug. Let's see if we can get a velocity reading on that. Okay, the 500 grain lead slug gave us 466.0 feet per second from the do-it-yourself Slam Yang Big Bore air rifle. I'm still using 450 PSI. I've loaded a 350 grain lead slug. And I'm going to attempt to hit a uh, steel plate about 8 by 12 inches that I've placed on part of a cinder block 10 meters downrange. The muzzle can just be seen fuzzily in the bottom left-hand corner of the frame. Let's try the steel plate. I hit something, let's go find out what. My first attempt hit too low on the steel plate, so I'm going to try again. Again I hit something, I'll go find out what. I have one more slug left and I'm going to try and hit a piece of concrete. I don't know if I can or not, but I'll give it a try. Last slug. Again, I hit something, so I'll go look. Here's a look at the uh, rectangular white steel plate I shot at. I didn't expect to go through it, because uh, it is nearly an eighth of an inch thick of steel, and this is only a big bore air rifle, but it still made quite a dent, and where I nearly missed it at the bottom, it bent the plate in nicely and left a good mark. Then I shot at a round piece of uh, eighth inch steel, uh, with the slam yang, I shot where the arrows are pointing. I've used this piece for other tests too, but I got two great big dents. And one of them, it actually managed to split the steel slightly, although it didn't penetrate it. The rounds do travel point first. I have a uh, one recovered round here. They take the rifling in the barrel and they strike uh, point first, as we can see the nose of uh, this 500 grainer is uh, quite mushroomed out and spread. 